Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to have a fully modular and dynamic crosshair for your game in Unreal Engine 5. If you guys have any questions or suggestions or if you guys do wish to support me, link to my discord as well as patron is down in the video description. Now in the video description I've left a link to an asset which I have created. So it should be called crosshair.zip once you download it. So it should take you to this link. And you can just uh, you can just put zero if you don't want to pay. If you do want to pay, if you do wish to support me, you can do that as well. And once you actually download it, you will get a crosshair.zip. Just extract it. Just extract the zip file, and you should be getting a crosshair folder. Create a new folder called plugins. So when you create the project, you will have the project directory. Just head into that, and where your U project is, create a plugins folder. Open it up and paste it right there. Now you can go ahead and restart the editor. It should in theory be enabled by default, but if not, head in here under plugins installed and you should be able to enable it right here. So once that's done, you actually don't need to set up anything. So all you have to do is head into your level blueprint or anywhere where you want to create the widget. So I'll just do it in the level blueprint. I'm going to just go ahead and create widget. So I'll just leave a small delay just in case. And this one is going to be BP crosshair widget blueprint. And as you can see, all the properties which you'd ever want to modify are available over here. Now this whole crosshair widget, the logic for it is completely written in C++. I'm just calling the initialize function over here. So I have the logic for that as well in C++. So if you guys do want to create your own crosshair widget like you don't want to use this approach what i've done you can totally do that you can just go ahead and create your own set of widgets and it'll totally work as well the only hierarchy you have to follow is that it has to be of type border and each border needs to be having one child anyways don't worry about the widget so i'll just make the thickness five let's say let's say make 10 on the static spread Let's say make 100 on the max dynamic spread. All these parameters are self-explanatory. And outline, let's just add a two pixel outline. So I'll make the thickness seven, let's say, or six. And let's have a center and let's outline the center dot as well. And let's just have it to be six. Let's have a green crosshair. Make sure the alpha is one. And the outline is going to be black in color. So now if I go ahead and press play. So we didn't add it to the viewport, my, my apologies. Now if I go ahead and press play, as you can see, we have a fully working and dynamic crosshair. Now the character is placed in such a way that it's obstructing, but you get the point. So that's about it guys. If you guys don't want a dynamic crosshair, you can just set this max dynamic spread to zero and it's going to behave like a static crosshair. And all the other settings are pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, if you guys do have any questions, you can ask it over on my Discord server. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.